J Jason, you guys came out pretty strong defensively. Um, what did you kind of do on that end <coughs> of the floor that you think disrupted them? Uh, I think we were just locked in from the beginning. Um, sense of purpose on both ends and started from the first play. JB blew up the, the DHO and got a steal. Um, it just kind of set the tone and we uh, tried to feed off that. When playing through the you know cut on his hand, was he talking about it all during the game and just how do you look to you playing through that? No, nah, he didn't talk about it. I mean, uh, he looked good. Uh, he came out aggressive and uh, you know, obviously, he was playing through it, so uh, you know, it looked looked like he felt fine and uh, you know, played really well. Jason Marcus had one of his best defensive games of the year. Um, what was it like to see him kind of back out there and and just making those kinds of plays again? Uh, I guess sometimes you take it for granted, um, but you know, one of the best, if not the best, defender that we have in this league, and. Uh, you know, just extremely special, especially on that side of the ball. Uh, and, you know, shows it night in and night out. When when you guys lose the lead, or most of the lead there in the third and the beginning of the fourth, um, is that something that you look back on as um, a good thing that you have something to build, you know, something to, to, to build on there? Or, or is it you feel like it's part of a continuing, like, issue where – when you guys get comfortable, you, you tend to lose leads like that. Um, I mean, uh, we didn't lose the lead. We was up 30 at halftime. They cut it down to 13 to 12. Um, you know, so it's the playoffs. They're a good team. Uh, we expect them to go on runs. Uh, a lot of it was self-inflicted, turnovers and missed layups and things like that. Um, but, you know, we responded. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously we can, there's a lot of things we can learn from. And, you know, I'm sure the Hawks feel the same way. Uh, so it's all about adjustments and, uh, you know, learning from game one, going to game two. Jason, you didn't take your, you took your only free throws with 105 left. It seemed like it was kind of a frustrating game for you because you thought you should have been getting calls and you missed some layups. How do you kind of keep, maintain your poise and not get caught up in officiating when it probably is obvious you're not going to get maybe the calls you want? Um, I guess just to be aware of that, you know, keep my head in the game. Uh, like you said, I don't know how many times I drove to the basket tonight, but, you know, only shoot two free throws, especially with a minute left in the game. Uh, I guess it's just one of those nights. Um, but, you know, uh, keep playing, you know, uh, all that matters if we win or not. So, um uh, you know, it's not always think everything not always gonna go your way, um, especially with the officials. But you know, you just stay composed and uh, just focus on trying to win the game. When you're up 30 in the second half or 32, how tough is it to keep pushing the ball, keep doing what you did in the first half, as opposed to trying to just take your time? Yeah, it is tough, and you know, uh, it, it's it's part of basketball that they. Uh, they were going to play better or, or, or make a run in that second half, which they did. And it took us a little while. Then we had to uh, respond and um, kind of wake up from that. And, you know, we did. Uh, but we have to, uh, I guess we got to be a little bit better in those situations. Uh, you know, when you, when you have a lead like that, um, human nature plays a part. But, uh, you know, we don't want things like that to haunt us coming up. Hey, Jason, uh, obviously you talked about the defensive intensity. You had Rob with what he brings to the floor. He had a block. And then Marcus, Derek, and Al all had two blocks. What's it like playing with guys like Rob and Al who are so great at helping over and then also two guards who are able to recover and just block shots in the paint like that? Uh, it's great. Excuse me. We have a, you know, a special group, um, really good defensive team, I, I think. Uh, we can pressure the ball, and we have help um, behind us um, if we get beat. Um, and not even just the bigs, the guards, everybody, um, just making those second and third efforts. Um, it's called winning, winning plays. Um, and we just try to make as many of those as we can throughout the game. Jason, obviously the battle of the board is going to be a key for this series. What does 
what kind of effort does that take against this Hawks team and how much of it is a team effort? Uh, yeah, that's the point of emphasis. You know, they, they, they crash the glass. Um, they're active. Uh, they got some long athletic guys. So, you know, it's uh, something we talk about all the time. Everybody, you know, if the big's boxing out, some of the guards that come in and grab the ball, um, you know, find somebody, you know, hit them. Um, and everybody, you know, no leak outs. Everybody has to rebound and try to limit them to, to one shot, you know, per possession. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.